And then you've got Joey Coasty. Now, this is very interesting. Why is he on there? Why are all of these games athletes on here and then his name is on there? And why is he the one who failed a drug test? Yo, so yesterday I put up a video about CrossFit and Coke, the NSCA, that entire thing, and I brought that up because I thought maybe some people didn't hear about it. I thought maybe it slipped through the cracks. I'm going to go ahead and just keep on doing that sort of stuff. I want to address the things that I don't think many people are talking about, and that's going to breach out into one of my favorite topics, and that is performance-enhancing drugs. Now, CrossFit very recently did a test on all these athletes. They did a test, and they didn't make it abundantly clear. They made it abundantly clear back when Dave Castro would say, look at all these people who are clean, and everyone was giving them a hard time for saying, look, Ricky Garrard's clean. We Testing Ricky Garrard. We've been testing Ricky Garrard. Everyone's like, stop talking about Ricky Garrard. Why would you want to put him in the limelight? I think that it's ridiculous that people are trying to give Dave Castro a hard time for rewarding somebody for doing the right thing. That being Ricky Garrard doing the right thing, staying clean for four years, and now being able to work his way back into cross it. You know how hard that would be? You know how hard it would be for your entire reputation brand to be tarnished because you failed a drug test and then work and keep yourself at such a high fitness level to then compete at the games four years later? I think that it should be rewarded. So anyone giving Ricky a hard time, don't give them a hard time. I use it as clickbait all the time because biggest name in the sport test positive for steroids. Not steroids, remember? He didn't test positive for a steroid. He tested positive for a SARM. Get that fucking right. Brings us to what I want to talk about today, and it is the 12 athletes tested for banned substances. You probably didn't hear about it, but the CrossFit Games anti-doping program conducted another series of out-of-competition tests for the 2022 season. Multiple athletes were tested to include Brent Fikowski, Yonikowski, Guy Mahares, Alex Vigneault, Lazar Dukic, Noah Olsen, Gabe McGowa, Mallory O'Brien, Christy Aaron. Amanda Barnhart and Joey Costi, Joey Cox, Joey Cost. That's the one that we want to talk about. The one being Joey, I don't know how to say his last name because he's the only one on the list out of all of those that hasn't been to the games. The other thing is he did the open for the first time this year. Joey Cost, Joey Coasty. We're gonna call him Joey Coasty because Coast is C-O-S-T and there's an E, so we're gonna call him Joey Coasty. So who is Joey Coasty? The first thing that I do when I want to look up who somebody is, is I just go on over to their Instagram profile. So Joey underscore Coasty. He's got 16.9 thousand followers, follows 1,200 people, he's got a Bible verse and his pro profile right there and when you scroll around a little bit he doesn't have very many pictures of him working out he's got a picture right there in the middle where he's skiing looks pretty freaking shredded some pictures with his shirt off click on this one in the gym what gym is he at right here let's see is there a tag crossfit fort vancouver okay so we know that justin Maderos trains out of crossfit fort vancouver so he was over there it looks like that's probably where he was doing the open if i were to do a quick natty or not on him 112 weeks ago he did a 275 bench press it looks pretty similar so if you watch the justin Maderos video that I put out, I told you that I thought he was natural due to the progression, his timeline, his lineage of what he looks like, what he can do at those points in time, and from what it looks like in Joey Coasty's profile, it doesn't look very different from the start to the back. However, he did fail a drug test. It says so right on CrossFit where they tested the 12 athletes. So we got Joey Coasty, somebody where it doesn't look like he has been doing CrossFit for a long time. Here's a picture of him laying on some turf with a dumbbell next to him. That looks very CrossFit-y. How long ago was this? 60 weeks ago. 60 weeks ago, so about a year ago. Been doing CrossFit for about a year. Let's go out over to his games profile. We can confirm that this was his first year doing the CrossFit Open. He didn't even do the quarterfinals. Now, this is very interesting to me because if we follow the CrossFit link, will bring us to a page where there are a bunch of athletes listed in the 2022 season. Names that we already mentioned and adding names like Andrea Nisler, Laura Horvath, Sarah Sigmund's daughter, Ricky Garrard, who we've already talked about, Roman Krennikoff, Zach George, Jeff Adler, Annie Thoris' daughter, Kristen Holte, Tia Claire Toomey, Patrick Vellner, Saxon Panjic. We know all of these names. Justin Medeiros is on there from the same gym we already talked about Justin Medeiros. So we're naming all of these names, right? And then you've got Joey Coasty. Now this is very interesting. Why is he on there? Why are all of these games athletes on here? And then his name is on there. And why is he the one who failed a drug test? Now, all I can do is speculate on this stuff. And I can speculate using the year 2017. I can speculate using the year 2017 because there was the last year where it seemed like there was a bunch of people who got tested positive for doing things and you didn't really know many of their names. They were all kind of tested at the regional level Level, and I remember at the bottom of the page right there where all of these incidents were reported is how to repeat instances of cheating. If you suspect an athlete, affiliate, or team of cheating, it is encouraged that you report the violation in the correct manner. The CrossFit Games have set up forms and methods for submitting an anonymous allegation. I remember thinking, oh, okay, cool. This is the way that CrossFit's kind of holding itself accountable. They've always done this. They've had the people holding each other accountable, whether it be in the open, where you can then go judge and vet people on the back end, or if you think someone's using something, you can fill out an allegation form. That's the only way that I think somebody like Joe 
Joey Coasty gets tested. I also have reference to remember that there were instances where you're going to be at an event such as a Wadapalooza and they're going to send out a drug tester to a Wadapalooza because they understand there's a lot of athletes there. They can kill two birds with one stone, if you will, by sending the drug tester there and then just taking all the samples at the competition. That is so they don't have to go to all of these elite athletes competitions and waste a bunch of money. They can do it there. So we saw that Joey Coasty is at CrossFit Fort Vancouver. Maybe it's possible that they were going to test Justin Medeiros, but I still don't know why they would test somebody who it was their first open. It makes absolutely no sense to me, with the exception that possibly somebody said he was using something. They haven't gone out to say what it was that he's using because I believe he's appealing the process. This is something that a lot of athletes do so there's an a sample then there's a b sample so they tested the a sample and in the a sample they found something i don't know what it was because they haven't released that information but now they're going to go ahead and test the b sample usually it comes back with the exact same thing but it is the due diligence that the drug testing companies do within the two samples they got to make sure that they both have the same thing in it and it wasn't just some sort of error now back in the year that was 2017 there were a whole bunch of athletes there were some big ones so remember emily ablett was somebody who tested positive that year she tested positive for using ibuprofen. you may remember that she said that she had just done that through kissing her husband or something. Ibutamorin is supposed to help you increase your growth hormone. I believe that it goes by the trade name of MK677. And yeah, it's a uh, growth hormone secreted gag, so it signals to your brain to then go ahead and produce more growth hormone. That's her truth. We can always listen to her, but we never really know the full truth. Apparently, her husband actually did come out and say that he was using it. I remember listening to a podcast back then where he said, yeah, I used the stuff. Who knows? Audrey Gannon, I remember he won Linda that year in the Europe region. He took exogenous testosterone. I've noted how he was one of the only people people that I know of that actually has tested positive for using testosterone. And I referenced that in the video I made where everybody's on steroids because he had to have been using a shitload of testosterone in order to ding on a drug test. But then it just seems like a lot of people are using SARMs, GW1516. Everybody needs to realize that CrossFit doesn't understand what these things are. Remember, I gave myself a self-proclaimed PhD in anabolics and performance enhancing drugs. But every time I look at them say GW1516, they're fucking wrong. It's GW501516. Now, that's not really a big deal, but every time I see it, it just drives me kind of nuts that they're not saying the right compound rate. I don't know what the fives and the zeros, the ones, the fives and the sixes mean, but I know that those are the order that they're supposed to go in. And every time I see it saying GW5156, it just makes me fucking crazy for no reason other than it makes me crazy. The other thing that kind of drives me crazy is they call it Endurable. It's like, everyone go take Endurable, and all of a sudden your endurance is going to be going crazy. It's almost like they say, hey, Endurable gives you endurance, duh. It's like, no, you idiots. It's not the way it freaking works. Stop saying that shit. It's not called Endurable. It's GW501516. Include this set in the first five, include the zero, and then we're good to go, guys. So what's the point of this entire thing? Andrew, why are you covering this? I'm covering this because... Again, I want to cover the stuff that it doesn't seem like is being talked about very much. And if this Joey Coasty guy tested positive, they should make a bigger deal out of it. Not that they should be trying to blow his name up, but they should be talking about it. And I also think it's rather odd that like, hey, look at all of these athletes that are clean. Like, good. Yeah, they should be clean. It's a clean sport. No one's on drugs. But it kind of always harkens to those people that walk around flaunting all the money that they have. Like, look at all these shoes. Look at the car that I drive. Look at this big ass house. And then you find out that there's someone like Dan Bilzerian and then they're renting the house and they don't have that much money and blah, 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 blah. You've all seen that story, right? Why does CrossFit have to make it abundantly clear that everybody's freaking clean? I don't know. I do think that it's very cool that they are testing the athletes out of competition. That's good. They should be doing that. But I think there needs to be a little bit more transparency about why they're going after somebody who did their first year in the CrossFit Open. That makes absolutely no sense. He didn't even do that freaking well in the Open. I mean, I think he qualified for quarterfinals, but he wasn't on the same caliper that these athletes are. Do you know what I'm saying? It'd be like if you were reading an NBA roster, it's like, okay, they tested LeBron James. They tested Kevin Durant, they tested Steph Curry, and then they tested some kid coming straight out of college his first year in the NBA, and he's going to the dumps. You've heard about that in the MLB. There's always these random people who test positive in the MLB, but nope, none of the superstars are taking anything in the MLB. Always just really odd. I don't know what to say about it other than what's going on. What do you think's going on? What's up with Joey Coasty? What's going on with the way that CrossFit is presenting all of this information to us? Did you prefer it when Dave Castro was the one presenting it to us on his Instagram? All I'm doing is presenting a place where we can talk about these things down in the comment section. So go ahead and start spewing comments, negative, positive, whatever you might want it to be. Andrew Hiller out. You know, so many of us, and I don't want to say uh, naive, because when I say naive, I feel like I'm already saying what I think about uh, the sport CrossFit and what they're doing. But I guess I wanted to ask you, like, is there an infiltration of PEDs in the functional fitness community? And if there is or is not, um, like, what do you, like, what would you say the extent of it is? 
pretty much the extent of beer being sold at baseball games. 